hi guys welcome to another tutorial in today's tutorial we're going to be making a simple pentagon bag so this is what we're going to be doing the shape actually so as usual i'm taking the easy way out i'm going to make two parts and then join them as usual i like the easy way out so let's go make a pentagon bag so this is the first time i'm using pearls to make a bag <laughs> at least on tutorial for sure so yeah let's get into it so you start with a five uh, bead flower okay so basically what it means is you put in five like your circle is supposed to be made of five beads so you initially put um four like this and then use one to crisscross remember cut your thread as long as you can handle I will always remind you about this if it's too long it will get tangled up if it's too short you always have to be joining it so yes so this is what we're going to get of course I'm lazy so I always cut my thread very long so yes this is what we'll get five CRBs are five yes that is what we start with but the rest of it we're going to continue with six bead flower now we already have one so now we're going to add two here two here and then use one to crisscross like this so this tutorial is supposed to be a beginner friendly so it's super slow as you can see i haven't edited it to be fast i've just left it very slow so yes that six. so we're going to continue with this six until we get to the eighth one okay so we started with five we're going to continue with six until we get to the eighth one so two here two here and then one to crisscross when I say crisscross, I mean you put both threads at the opposite openings of the bead, okay? Tangling up because, well, it's too long. But hey, remember, you have to pull your thread very hard to make your work very firm. And pearls naturally are slippery, so will give you a little bit of a tough time if you're a beginner but hey that's the fun part about it right getting to do it even though it's hard and then at the end of the day it's trailing that you you manage to do it So that's seven that we've already done now on the eighth one 
which is the last one for the base it's also going to be five so put two beads in one thread and put one in the other and then go ahead and use one to crisscross so we started with five we are ending with five okay this is what gives it the edge the curved edges you see the pentagon it has edges like the pointed edges this is what is going to give our bag those pointed edges so in a total of eight the first and the last one are five bead flowers and the rest are six bead flowers so we're going to continue with six bead flowers actually starting with the first bead we're going to put our three uh, sorry our four flowers there and then use one to crisscross okay now remember the thread is already in one bead so adding four and then using one to crisscross makes it six right so yes this is it six like this now you're going to send your thread into the next two beads sorry one two into the next two beads like that okay so after that you're just going to be using two and one to crisscross two and one to crisscross okay so i'll put two bc and then i'm going to use one to crisscross like that now this point you have your threads working in one goes into the next two beads so the two beads you'll be putting in the thread that is at the outer side of the work the one that you haven't passed through the two beads now this one i pick i pass through two beads like this right so after this i leave that one alone and then i pick the other thread that I didn't pass through two beads, which is at the outer side of the work. This one. So I leave this one alone and then I this like that. Now this one at the outer side, that's where you'll be putting your two two beads. So two like this. And then I'm going to take one bead and crisscross with both threads. Okay. like this cool so yes that is it
and then we'll use one to crisscross like this now now that we're getting to the end you have to turn your work okay you have to do it in a way that your thread instead of going straight like that it will turn and then you work all the way down again so the last bead is one you usually put it in two beads but when you get to the last part you're going to get one instead of two now in that same thread you kept in the one bead you're going to put your two sorry your three beads in it all three bits on it okay like this and then you're going to take one and crisscross with both threads like this so now instead of <coughs> sorry your thread being straight see now it's turned horizontally right I'll just do that again so that you see okay one two and then you pick this one and then you put one like this and then you're going to pick one and crisscross like this now see your, your thread is turned right that way that is it and then you see the shape of your bag is already taking place it's already taking form so you start again in the first single bead and then you're going to put all your four beads in one thread the outer thread and then you're going to use one to crisscross three four okay and then you're going to use one to crisscross like this okay so you practically have just started another line like that so you're going to do the same thing all the way down put your thread in the next two beads one two one and two okay so now that your thread is in the next two beads the outer thread you're going to put two beads in that one one two and then you're going to pick one bead and use the thread to crisscross like this okay so that is it you're just going to do that all the way to the end
so the same way you curved to begin this line that's the same way you're going to curve to start another line okay so the very last bead and then you're going to put two, okay not the last bead now but the last bead is inclusive so after you put your thread in two beads two beads at the end you're going to be left with one bead okay so you still put your thread in that one bead like this and then you put two one two in one thread the one that is closest to the work two in it like this one two and then the one that is further from it you put one in it like that see and then you're going to pick one and crisscross turning your thread to the top instead of the sideways good so now your thread is at the top again so you're going to repeat this whole process over and over we need a chain of um seven okay so this is um three actually and you're going to do that so you get to the seventh one okay
so this is six and i need a roll of seven so i went ahead and did the other roll of line so this is seven one two three four five six seven okay this is seven and this is going to be the down part of it now this is what divides the down and the top we're going to make another five remember we started with a five bead flower now we're going to make another five bead flower to start this row like instead of starting with a six bead flower as we do this one will start with five okay so this row is going to be five at the beginning and then we'll continue with six six and then another five at the end like we did at the beginning so that's five right so i'm going to put my thread and the next two beads one two one two sorry good and then i'm going to put two in the other thread that is outside this one so i'll put two beads in that one and then i'll put this one and then crisscross with it So now we're going to continue all the way to the end and then at the end to instead of six we'll make it five just like the beginning okay so the very last bead this one inclusive so we're going to put uh that's what we'll be making our next five beads okay so you see the thread we just kept in the last bead we're going to put two in it <laughs> and i'll put one in the other one and then crisscross like this so yes we have our five beads at the end right. so you see our shape has already taken form 
now we need the other half of the shape okay so put your thread to the next bead making it two at the beginning you see we'll start with the first single bead and then two two but now we're going to be going two all the way out the last remaining beads will leave them out so now i have two i'm going to add three like this and then use one to crisscross now when we started you do realize when we are starting we start with four now we'll be starting with three and then one to crisscross like this that's a chain of six see it's already kept now we're just going to continue like that put your thread to the next two beads and then put two in the other one use one to crisscross okay so that's just it
so now that we're done with um, the sieve row for the top side this is the last row for the um, top side and then once again we're going to start with five okay like this see five and then continue with six six to so the last one and then we'll do another five so two beads put another two beads in the outside thread use one to crisscross and then when we get to the last one we'll do five again So next two beats. Sorry. So this is the last one we're getting into, like this, last two beads. And then of course, that one is supposed to also end in five. So you put just like this. Okay. There you go. So now each side you turn it's the same. So you don't even get to know where your starting point is anymore. That's the shape you're going for. Okay. Whatever you turn is going to be the same shape. But now let's do the sides. My thread is still very long, so I'm not going to end it. I'm just going to begin with it. So at the beginning. Sorry. So the first bead in the five that you just did, at any corner that you are, the first bead in the five, okay? That's where we're going to start. You're going to make another five in that bead, okay? I think I'll just keep quiet and let you watch. So yes, after this five, we're going to go six, six again. So you put your thread closest to it, to the next two bees. Two like this. 
and then you put two in the other thread two one two and then you're going to use one to crisscross like this okay so that is what we're going to do all the way around put your thread in the next two bees put two in the other thread use one to crisscross oops sorry i didn't know i was going off the screen oops there So I'm just going to do this all around till I get to the other side. So I went ahead and did all the rest 
so at the end you're going to end with five again just like you begin with okay so in our last bead we're going to put we're going to make a five um, bead flower so we already have like three so we're only adding two like that and then we'll crisscross and then we'll get another five see oh oh okay so after that i think that's where our five five beading has ended so put your thread in the next bead backwards like this so now you have another two beads so continue again with a six bead flower okay three use one to crisscross and boom so we're going to go all the way around with six bead flower so you put your thread in the two beads put two beads in the other one see that sucks so you put your thread in the two beads one two okay so you put it in that two bead and then you put two beads in the other thread like this and then use one to crisscross that is what we're going to do all the way around okay
so yes and our last bead you also end it sucks like you began with okay so since this is our last bead you'll be tempted to tie make a knot but no just pass your threads back like this and then pass it through a couple of beads very far away from where it's ended and then you cut off your lesser straight the secret to having a very neat work is not making knots okay so just pass your thread through a couple of beads as many as you can very far away from where your work ended and that is practically it